This cave extends underneath the desert. Aye. A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Perhaps we'll find Atreus's wounded animal down here. Lead the way, Kratos. I trust you to not get us lost underground. Lashing out at everything and everyone for their fate. Ray will not listen to reason. Combat is unavoidable. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. Still, I wish it were not the case. Mm. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. This creature Atreus heard, why wait until now to free him? It was not a priority. We were too busy attempting to stave off Ragnarok to indulge in any desert dalliances. Shame. I imagine Atreus would have enjoyed a quest to free an injured animal. Yeah, he would have. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to twist the knife. He did not. Atreus has chosen his path. I trust him to be safe. with my own son when he was Atreus's age. Balder craved adventure, but with the words of the Norns repeating in my head, 
Your worry consumed you, as my rage once did to me. You overcame it, eventually. Thanks to Atreus. And his mother. Yes. Perhaps if Odin had loved his children as much as he loved using them, both would still be with us. His sensitivity, his compulsion to help any and all in need. That is his mother's influence. Despite all attempts to train him otherwise, Atreus was eager to help lost spirits or run errands for the dwarves during our travels together. Faye's influence runs deeper than that. Why do you think you're the one assaulting a cave full of hostile dark elves to save a wounded creature? Hmm. Excursions like this will serve as training for Atreus, or an excuse to gather resources while testing his abilities. But I made him a promise. His voice as my guide. And his voice told you to come out here? He would approve. Strange, that means more to me now than it did before he left. You've said it yourself. Atreus takes after his mother. His approval is her approval. Ah! 
Incoming! Above you! Seen one since I was a child. Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half you I've ever laid eyes on. But howling sounds familiar. It's the song of the sands. We don't normally sing like this underground. That must be the cause of the storm. Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. There must be a way to cut it loose. I'd wager that there's nothing here a well-placed throw of the axe can't solve. Escape. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. How in the realms did they capture such a large one? Afghifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark health friends. Even though it's bound by their hive? Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barren. But if this is true, are we doing more harm than good by destroying this hive? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Freyr would have wanted us to do everything in our power to restore this realm. We will free it. <laughs> 